if you're too afraid to do what God is telling you to do right now, I want you to watch this video all the way to the end. I believe this video is going to give you some encouragement. I believe it's also going to give you some instructions. In this video, I'm going to ask you four questions that I believe that you should be asking yourself in this moment. If you are feeling any type of fear, if you're feeling any type of anxiety about doing what God is telling you to do next, I believe these questions will bring clarity to you. They will bring instruction. And as you just ponder on them and think on them, that they should give you encouragement of what to do next. Okay. And so first thing I want to start off by saying is um, welcome. You know, if you're this is your first time watching the channel, I want to welcome you. If you're coming back again, I want to welcome you back. Um, it's good to be recording this video for you. Um, this past week, I experienced a little bit of fear, a little bit of anxiety of what God wants me to do next. And so when when these moments come up in my life, um, I do take a moment to reflect. I do take time to just pray and to just seek God's counsel of personally of what to do next. Um, and I also think sometimes that, that God allows these moments to come up in my life so they can be a teaching moment for myself, um, but also that you guys can benefit from what God is showing me and speaking to me regards to these things that are happening in my own personal life. And so um, about a year now, um, the Lord has been giving me this word uh, about vehicles of acceleration. And um, this this past week, again, I um, have been just asking God to, to just continue to show me what's next and to show me how to step into what he has next for me. And so about two nights ago, um, I was in this dream and it was like I was given a um, Lamborghini, um, one of the fastest cars that's out. It was like a brand new Lamborghini. I mean, this thing was super fast. And one of the first things that came up in the dream um, was I began to think, number one, how was I going to afford this gift? How was I going to be afford to, to keep this car? Um, obviously, you know, we know in the natural Lamborghini is one of the most expensive cars. And, but that was the question I had in the dream. Like, how was I going to afford to keep it? Um, also, I was just thinking about what, like, was this too much? What's this too fast? Did I even deserve this thing? And I, and I think those are, are questions that a lot of times we're asking ourselves in the natural uh, when we're awake. When God shows us a vision about what is coming for our future, we sometimes almost get on this questioning spree of thinking that God made a mistake in choosing us. And sometimes this is where the fear comes in. Like we don't feel qualified to do the next thing. We don't feel as if we're the best candidate, but I want to assure you that God knows exactly what he's doing. Um, God chose you specifically for a reason. There's um, specific things that you've gone through, specific experiences that have more than qualified you to receive what God has next for you. And what I believe that the Lord showed me in this dream was that he was going to be bringing strategy. Um, there was a, you know, it, it, it just so happened um, in the natural that um, that same day in the, in, in the living, I received a, a book um, from Amazon. Um, this was a book that the Lord had placed on my heart to purchase. Um, it was a specific type of marketing book that, I had done some research off and on, but I felt led to to get this very specific book um, about a specific type of marketing. And in the dream, God was highlighting to me specifically that if I did a specific action that was covered in the book that I got that same day, that I would have success. And so I want to encourage you. Um, God is not making any mistakes. Everything is lining up in your life. And the process of your life for a specific reason at the specific time, um, even you just seeing this video right now is intentional. Um, now, there are specific four questions that I have here for you that I think that will help you to overcome some of the fears that you have. The first thing that I truly believe that we have to think about is sometimes we have this, you know, imposter like syndrome. We don't believe that we are 
you know, the right person that is called for this particular thing. And that can cause fear and that can cause anxiety. But what it tells us here, we truly believe the word of God. It tells us here in Proverbs 28 and 1 that the wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. And so the first question that I must ask myself, am I living a righteous life? Am I living a righteous life? Is my life submitted to the sovereignty and the lordship of Jesus Christ? And if it is, that's that's one of the first qualification. God doesn't always um, call the qualified person, but he does qualify the ones that he has called. Right. So you your life experiences, the things that you've gone through, the things that God is teaching you, the things that you're allowing the Holy Spirit to reveal to you. These things are equipping you for the opportunity for the vehicles of acceleration that God has for you. Right. And so that's the first question I, I must ask myself. If I'm living a righteous life, there's nothing for me to be scared of. In fact, I should be bold because when I look out into the world, I can see wickedness all around. And, and the people who are serving the enemy, the people who are serving the devil right now, they are bold. They are bold in their sin. And so I must be bold in my righteousness. OK. And so the second question that I must ask myself is that do I believe that God can do this? Now, one thing that encourages me, and the Lord placed the scripture on my heart, uh, specifically, I believe for this moment, um, is coming out of Romans 4 and 3. And it says, um, you know, for what does the, the scripture tell us? What does the scripture say? It says, Abraham um, believed God, and it was counted for him as righteousness. And so with without having a Bible, um, without having... Uh, Jesus Christ to be his personal Lord and Savior um, without having all these, you know, YouTube videos to give him a prophetic word. He he trusted God. He believed God at his word. And that was counted for him as righteousness. And so if Abraham, who was just a man like me, you know, walking around uh, with a family, with a wife. Right. If, if he could believe and trust God with all, all the things that we have to help give us assurance that God will do exactly what he said he will do. If he can trust God and step out in faith and truly do everything that God is asking him, asking him to do, then I have no excuse. And we, we all have no excuse not to believe God at his word because he's never lied to us. Okay. Now this is one of the hardest questions to go through, but I do think that it's the most important um, because it, it truly will affect us receiving what it is that God has for us. And that is, do I believe that God will do this for me? Do I believe that God will do this for me? Now, it's easy to believe God will bless someone else or God will perform a miracle in someone else's life or God will do X, Y, Z for someone else. But when it comes to you, when you are looking in the mirror, when you are the one who is needing to trust God to believe for a specific circumstance or a specific uh, thing that you need to take action on right now, do you believe that God will show up for you? And so um, one thing that to me that helps me have assurance, which I thank God for, um, you know, two nights ago, is the fact that. God will speak to us in a number of different ways. God will send people into our lives to speak a word into our lives. Like you guys are watching this video and I pray that this message is encouraging you. But also, again, God will stop time and he will speak to us himself. He will drop something in our dreams. He will drop something in our vision where we know what to do next. Right. And so um, Job 33, 15 through 18 says this. It says in a dream, in a vision of the night. When deep sleep falls upon men while slumbering um, on their beds, then he opens the ears of men and seals their instructions. OK, and so two nights ago, God gave me some very clear instructions of, of things that I can do to maintain what he is putting in my life, what he is getting ready to do next in my life. And I truly believe that if I do like Abraham, that if I would just raise myself up that very next morning and just be put those things into action and put those things into place, that God is going to hold up his end of the bargain. And that what I thought 
was possible is actually being shattered. Um, you see, in the natural, um, this week, um, the Lord did bless me with a, you know, another vehicle. Um, and this, of course, this car is not, it's not a Lamborghini. Um, but in the dream, um, you know, seeing that I had a, a Lamborghini, one of the questions or things that came to my mind is that I, I just, I knew that I had, had recently gotten a car. And so I was just ca caught off guard. I was so surprised that I had now had a Lamborghini. Now, one thing I want to encourage you is that I truly believe that if we would stop compartmentalizing God, that if we would stop limiting God, what he's able to do and what we're able to believe him for, that we are going to wake up to many surprises. Um, back in February, I released a word on this channel that I will link under this video where it was talking about, here comes the surprise. And I truly mean, believe now in this moment that God has more surprises in store for us this year, um, that God has more surprises for us, even, even more specifically in the month of September and the month of October, as we're crossing over into a new um, year in the Hebrew calendar that we are going to truly behold his awesomeness. We're going to truly be behold his grace, his mercy, and his marvelous wonder. Um, as we, we keep the vision, keep the instructions, keep the dreams, keep the visions that he's given to us about our future in front of us. And as we have clarity and, and actually do the thing that God is telling us to do. And so question number four in this whole entire process, and I thank you guys for watching this video all the way to the end, um, like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because here's question number four. Um, I, I pray that this blesses you. And that question is, do I have clarity on what is next? Uh, Proverbs 29 and 18, and I'm just reading the condensed version of this, where it says, where there is no vision, the people perish. And many times um, we can get frustrated with God. We can get frustrated at our situation, but it's like, do, do I have the clarity? Did I take the time to sit there and ponder on the instructions? Like, you know, this same week, again, I was led to purchase a specific book on Amazon. And that night, God was able to detail in the dream of a strategy that's in this book that I would never have thought about using, or I would never have thought about implementing on my own had I not been obedient to the first instruction was to get this specific book, but then also to take what's inside of the book and begin to put it into action. And so God uses the, you know, us as a vessel. Um, but we also have to have the, the practical um, nature of, of doing what God tells us, right? Cause God is going to use us right in our humanity but sometimes God is telling us, maybe we need to go back to school. Maybe we need to get a certain level of education, or maybe we need to purchase a certain course, or we need a, to get a certain degree, or we need to get a certain thing um, to have access to the information of what he wants to use as the strategy to open the next door for us. And I'm not saying that God has to use those methods. However, sometimes God will use those methods um, to open up the next door for us. And so we just have to be sensitive to what God is showing us. We have to be sensitive to what God is, is sharing with us. And that is why one of the things that I want to offer to you guys right now, if you feel like you need more clarity um, for a limited time, what we're going to be offering uh, for the next seven days is I'm going to open up 10 hours in my calendar uh, to do clarity sessions for people who are subscribed uh, to the channel the information, if you want a one hour clarity session with myself on Zoom, where we can go through and talk about your dreams, go through and talk about the things that God has placed on your heart and how you actually take those things from 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 just being dreams, from just being visions of the night and how do you actually practically bring them into practical manifestation in your real waking life. OK, and so if you want the information for that, that's going to be below the video. I pray that this video bless you in some type of way. If you're feeling fear right now, I pray this message, you know, encourage you to move past the fear, do the thing that God is telling you to do in spite of your fear, and you will get the gift. You will get the vehicle of acceleration that God has for you right now in this hour. 
I pray this message bless you and I will see you guys in the next video. God bless you. Bye-bye.